Hello friends and thank you so much for clicking in on this video. My name is Desiree and today's video I did a holiday makeup look or at least my interpretation of one. So if you want to see how I did this holiday makeup look then please continue watching and if you could be so kind please give my video a thumbs up and if you want to be even more kinder and be in the holly jolly mood please subscribe to my channel because I truly love it and I would really like for you to join me here on YouTube. So let's get right on into this this video. Starting off this video using this uh, Honey Drop moisturizer. Um, I got this in my November play box and I've been using it for quite some time now and it's really good. I really like it a lot. Um, I've been using it and what I can say about it is it's very lightweight and it does provide moisture. The only problem I have with this moisturizer is that it is not SPF so now that I have that on I'm just gonna leave this on for five minutes and let it soak okay so now that I have let that moisturizer sink into my skin for about five minutes I'm going in with this Smashbox photo finish primer and this is the pore minimizing primer <clears throat> and I'm only going to apply this where I have in large pores and I'm not taking very much of it, I'm just taking very little. And I'm going to apply this in my problematic areas only. I'm not going to put it anywhere else, I'm just going to warm it up with my fingertips here. And then I'm just going to press it into the skin. And right here, this is where I have my most problematic areas. I want this entire area to be smooth, even right here on the sides of my nose. I tend to have enlarged pores on the sides of my nose. And just place that there. a little bit under my lip. Now I'm gonna go in with my Soap and Glory um, One Heck of a Blot, and this is gonna help keep my face mattified. And I I'm also just gonna take a little bit of this stuff. I'm not gonna, maybe a little bit more. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of it. I'm only gonna place this in my t-zone area i'm just gonna warm it up once again with my finger and i'm only going to apply this in my t-zone area because this is where i more than likely get the most oiliest and i try to combat that with as much primers and and you know powders as i can this is why i love my my sweet peach powder because that stuff really helps um and just here that stuff really helps me stay mattified because I have a very oily face. So now that I applied that there, I'm just going to make sure I press it into the skin. I really want it to stay there. And then I'm once again gonna wait another five more minutes to let this dry. Okay, so meanwhile I'm waiting for my primer to really melt into my skin and really do its thing. I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm taking just a little bit of that on my index finger just very little. A little bit of this stuff goes a long ways and I'm just going to tap it into my fingers and then place this all over the lid. And this is just to ensure that my shadows stay put and stay in place for a really, really long time. If you don't have oily lids, then you don't need to do this step. Um, but for someone like me, I need to because this, uh, I get oily lids and this will keep my eyeshadows in place. You are evenly distributed. You don't want this stuff looking patchy and real nasty on your eyelids because then it will show with your eyeshadows like that. Okay so now as you can see I have some acne here. They're a bit red and I'm just gonna try to cover up as much redness as I possibly can and I'm going in with my Maybelline this is the Master Camo, and this is in the Green Corrector. And I'm just going to take some of this stuff <clears throat> as soon as it comes out of the applicator. There we go. Oh, now too much came out. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit back in my hand. And I'm just going to place this where I need it the most. So places like right here, right here, right here, this area where I get the most red. Really want a nice canvas here. Just basically anywhere you have the most redness. For me, it's here in this area. Um, I get the most redness, especially when I have acne. It just becomes red. And that's no bueno for nobody. So I'm just gonna take this really small beauty blender. This is dry and I'm just going to pat this into the skin. And I'm just going to 
do this over and over and over until it is seamless. Okay, so now that that is on my face and I'm looking like a hot mess, <clears throat> now I'm gonna take this Masterclass uh, Master Camo from Maybelline, same brand, and this is in the Apricot Pour. Apricot Pour. And I'm just going to place this under my eyes where I have uh, darkness. Darkness. Dark under eyes. Ugh, can I not speak today? And I'm only placing this exactly where I need it as well. And I'm just taking my <clears throat> number three Moda brush and I'm just going to blend this under the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Physicians Formula. This is a foundation. <clears throat> the foundation I have is Creamy Ivory. And this is a really nice uh, creamy texture. And I believe this is supposed to be uh, powder, cream to powder. There we go, cream to powder. So I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to use my handy dandy Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to place this all over my face. Oop, get some hair out of the way there. I didn't realize when I picked up this shade <clears throat> that it was actually too light for me. When I was at the store, they all looked really dark. And this shade, Creamy Ivory, <clears throat> In the store it looked like it would suit me best but now that I'm applying it onto my face you can clearly see that it's really too light for me so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that as soon as I put this all over my face okay so now I'm gonna take my Maybelline uh, age rewind and I'm in the shade medium and I'm just gonna place this everywhere that I put my Corrector. Okay, so for me, anytime that I have a foundation that looks a little too light for my face, I try to just bronze it up, and that's what I'm gonna do with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I'm just taking this Sephora, this is a all over powder brush, and I'm just gonna take this everywhere, all over the face, to try to darken it up a little bit. And I'm just going to try my very best to make it look a little more suitable. Okay. So as you can see, it definitely toned it down a notch. So that's that's one way to fix it. One way to another way to fix it would be to apply another type of foundation on or just remove it all and just put on something that you know is your shade. But if you're on the go and you've already applied it and you're you gotta go somewhere, this is just one way to try to fix your foundation. <clears throat> So the next step is to powder it all down and I'm going in with my Sweet Peach Translucent Powder. No shocker there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm placing it into my cap. Oh, I said a little bit, but a lot came out. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap off the excess. I'm gonna make sure that I get some, tap it off, and just place this all over the face. And this is just to set everything. And I'm also going to use my number three Moda brush with whatever leftover translucent powder I have left on my on the lid. I am going to set under the eyes. Very important to set under the eyes. Now it feels like my translucent powder lost a little bit of my color, so I'm just going to put a little bit back with whatever is left over on my brush. I'm 
just shaking up my uh, sweet peach. This is my mattifying setting mist and this is just going to help melt everything together and really make it look more face-like. And it's gonna also help keep my face matte. So I'm gonna spritz this all over the place. A too much. And now I'm going in with my Real Techniques. <laughs> uh, this is my beauty blotter or expert face sponge. It's just Real Techniques. And now I'm just going to. We're going to start with the eyes. And I'm going to start off with my. This is my Physician's Formula, and I have the Eyeshadow Quad in Classic Nudes, and I'm just going to use this here to do my eyes today. Okay, so I already did one eye, as you can see, and I'm going to complete the other eye here on camera for you. And I brought you in really, really close so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So because this palette, this little eyeshadow quad here, it doesn't have a transition shade, I'm going to have to go in with my Too Faced little tiny chocolate bar palette. And I'm going to take salted caramel here and put it into my crease. <clears throat> Oop, sorry. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Real Techniques All Over Dome Shadow Brush and I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to place it all over the eye tapping off that excess you see it this shadow it, these shadows are a little bit on the powdery side but they're really nice the golds and the and the really white silvery color is very pigmented well all these shades are very pigmented just give myself a nice base now I'm gonna go in <clears throat> excuse me now I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush and I'm going in with the Salted Caramel shade here and I'm just going to place this here as my transition shade. Tapping off the excess to that one too. Um, salted Caramel, if I can describe it, it's a nice warm brown. It's exactly like a caramel shade, but a little more brown than caramel. So if you have a shade just like this one, maybe I can bring you in, just like this one, you could probably use it. For me, well, that, that's the best transition shade for me, but really just use whatever transition shade you feel works best for you. So now that I have my transition color here, now, I am going, oops, I just dug my nail into a shade. Ugh. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. $1 uh, shadow brush and I'm going in with this goldeny color right here. This is a very nice champagne gold color. It's so beautiful and as you can see, it's very pigmented. It's just so beautiful and it glides on very smoothly. It's such a beautiful shade. This is a really great look for the holidays. Like, I love this shade. This is just something that's effortless, easy to do, and it's quick too. So I'm only gonna place this only halfway on the eye. I'm just gonna bring it in halfway here because this part will have the most dark color. So that, that's what I'm doing. So I'm only placing this color here. You see, just one swatch. Ugh, oh, so beautiful. And I'm just bringing it in, just working it here. Going in, dipping it one more time, but really, it, you don't really need to. This is almost like wet. I'm sure it even looks better if you place it on a wet. Oh my gosh, I'm like in love right now. So as you can see, I left this part here empty. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Mary Kay crease brush and I'm going in with this very dark color here. Uh, and again, excuse the nails. And I'm going to place this on the outer part of the eye and tapping off that excess. And I'm just placing this here. And I'm just making a C motion. To me, it's like a C motion, but it would be an outer V. 
but I'm not doing a V, I'm just uh, doing it like a C, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. And I'm just going to build it up to the consistency that I want it, and I want it a nice, a nice brown. And I'm also blending it here so that the shades uh, seamlessly blend in together. And I'm also just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to bring it inward. Just to darken it up just a little bit. Again, I don't really want this to be so, like, ba-bam dramatic. I just want this look to be something simple. Something you can put on and look really nice for, like, around the holidays. <sighs> you know, like, if you're going to go Christmas shopping or if you're going to go sleigh riding or something. This would probably be something you can wear. Just something simple you can do without really thinking about it. And then out the door you go. Okay. So, there we go. Now I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk angled brush. It's a little bit thick. It's not very thin. It's a very thick uh, angled brush. I'm taking just a little bit of that and I'm tapping out that axis and I'm going to place this under the eye. This is just going to warm up the eye look. Okay, so now that I have that coin on, now I'm going back in with this Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of this color and I'm going to place this under the brow bone. I'm just taking a little bit of it and it's just to give it a nice little something. Now I'm just going to clean off this uh, angled brush with this little cloth that I have here. And I'm going back in with that same white shade and I'm going to place this in the inner corner here to give me a nice little inner corner highlight. about you guys but I like to blow off the extra dust here on my palette I mean I'm the only one that uses them so it don't bother me none okay so now I'm going to take my real techniques uh, lasting brown and I'm going to line my waterline with this Okay, so now I am going to line my top lash line with this same uh, eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm going to take this double-ended Sephora uh, eyeliner brush. I'm not sure if they still sell it at Sephora. I got this brush a really long time ago at Sephora. Um, but I'm taking this end and I'm going to smudge the top of my lash line. like that. I'm going to take my Flower Beauty eyebrow pencil, eyebrow pencil in the shade Brunette and I'm just going to use the spoolie here and I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows just making sure that any powder or any eyeshadow that I got in there I just sweep it out. Then I'm going in with the other end here which has the product in it and I'm just going to start filling in my eyebrows. And then with this side, I just sweep it in to really distribute product evenly into my eyebrows. See? Huge difference. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Benefit Gimme Brow, and I'm in the shade 5. 
Um, I've mentioned this before, this stuff works really great layered with another product, but by itself, I don't like it for whatever reason, it makes my eyebrows look gray, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me or if I got a bad batch, I have no idea. Um, but when this is paired with something, this works really great, and I really just love this stuff. It just adds a little more color, and it keeps my eyebrows in place. It keeps them tamed. And it helps also to get those sparse areas that a brush or a powder just really can't do for me. This stuff really works really great. I can't recommend it enough, except maybe a better shade or find the right shade for you. So there we go. Now my eyebrows are, what do the kids call it, on point? <laughs> I'm not going in with my Tresique highlighter and I'm only going to apply this where I want my highlight to be the most. I don't want it anywhere else but here on the tops of my cheekbones and again you can feel uh, where your top of your cheekbone is because you can feel the bone here and that is where I'm placing the product. And again, I like to feel for the first before just placing it. It really does help me uh, put product on much better. So right now it looks like a weird, just weird. Oh, and I like to put it also here on top of my Cupid's bow. Really just gives me a little nice something. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, when I did my review on the Moda brushes, I had no idea what to do with this brush. It didn't work uh, putting eyeshadow on my eyelids at all. So I finally figured out what to do with this brush and it blends highlight effortlessly. It does a very good job at blending it out. Now for just some finishing touches to really uh, finish up the look. I am going to curl my lashes and this is my Sephora eyelash curler that I got at Sephora a couple years back. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I have it in black is black, so we're gonna do that now. And I like to curl my eyelashes for about 10 seconds. So now that my lashes are nice and curled, now I'm just going to take this mascara and I'm gonna start applying some mascara. I like to put my tilt my head back as far back as I possibly can. I like to do one section at a time, which is three. For me, in my mind, it's three. So this section right here, this inner part would be the first section. Second part would be here, which is the middle. And the third part, which would be here, which is the outer part of the eye. And I like to also twirl. And get as much from the end of the outer lashes as I possibly can. And for me, this gives me a nice feathery look. Okay, so now that I have my lashes done, now I'm gonna apply some blush and I'm just gonna take my angled uh, e.l.f. blush brush and I'm going in with my e.l.f. quad here and this is in the shade light. Well, that's what they call it. They call it light, but it's basically all of these shades here. And I'm just going to take, let's see what shade, what shade would look best with this look here? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with this shade here. This is a nice, peachy everyday kind of blush I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and tap off the excess and place this here on my apples of my cheeks for me this is best where um, blush looks the best because I have such a round face so this is where blush would look the best on me but if you have a different shade, uh, shape of face, this is probably not where you would want to apply your blush. I also like to do a little smile, and this just helps me also place my blush on. So to complete this overall look, I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Lipstick in Nude Chair. And I'm just going to slowly open this. And the reason why I want to slowly open this is because this bullet of the lipstick is oddly shaped. It looks like I can carve wood with this thing. So um, just very gently or just try to figure out a way around, uh, I'm going to place this here on my lips. This is 
the makeup look and for me this would be something nice that you can wear you know during the holidays if you're holiday shopping or looking for a Christmas tree or just overall just want to be jolly holly <laughs> all through December I think this would be a great look for anybody to wear this is a great look for anybody to pull off or to wear throughout the holidays so if you like this makeup look please give this video a thumbs up leave down a comment below what's your favorite thing about Christmas is it baking cookies is it watching movies spending time with family and friends what is it I would love to hear from you I just love reading comments so please comment down below give this video a thumbs up and if you could be so kind please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye